Welcome back to the Black and Gold Report. Again, we're previewing the 2011-2012 men's basketball season with Coach Ben Miller. Uh, Coach, let's uh, talk about your senior leadership. Again, I know that this is your first senior class, and they probably have a pretty special place for you. Uh, so let's talk about Nathan Priest and Cody and, and Marcus and Mike and Miguel Stark, your five seniors. So what do you want to tell about them? Well, you know, Cody and Miguel have been with us a couple years now, and they've, they've been great additions. You know, Miguel came and made the team as a walk-on and just brings his lunch pail every day and battles those guys and has helped us in games. You know, Cody came from junior college and, you know, did some really nice things for us uh, last year. Um, started some games, came off the bench and was, you know, gave us a spark in a lot of ways. And then the other three have been here, you know, Mike's been here longer than I have. Mm -hmm. So those guys are, they're all really special, but those guys seeing them grow up and mature as we've talked about and uh, taste a little bit of success last year and do some things that have never been done here because they were you know they were all here when we won six right. that first year and so seeing that progress has been special to see them have a, be a part of that and then have an opportunity this year to hopefully continue to do some maybe even better things. You bet. That's what we're all hoping for. Well, let's uh, talk about your uh, uh, the things that are going to stand in your way from having an exciting season and a good season. The Peach Belt, as always, expected to be one of the toughest conferences mm -hmm. in the country from top to bottom. Uh, who do you expect to be competing for honors this year bes uh, besides us? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Georgia Southwestern, I think there will be preseason top 20 in the country. They've mm -hmm. got basically everybody back and made some really good additions. Um, and then the traditional powers, Augusta, you know, Aiken, they're always good. montevallo has been to the tournament two years in a row. You could go on and on. I think um, everybody will talk about Southwestern, I think, because of their returners, but mm -hmm. there's still another seven, eight teams that are capable of uh, being there at the end of the year. Including UNCP, without we, a doubt. We hope so, yeah. And you beat Georgia, Georgia Southwestern in the tournament, in the Peach Belt tournament last year, so mm -hmm. there's no reason that you can't beat them again, for sure. Well, let's talk about expectations and how good can the Braves be this year. I know that your expectations are probably going up a little bit, given how well they did last mm -hmm. year. So uh, talk about how good this team can be. Not too well, much we, pressure here. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing that's neat about our guys, we, we do have high expectations, mm -hmm. and they should. You know, we've, we did from day one. I think you always, you know, set high goals, but you know the maturity of our team really showed. We we had our probably our worst practice of the year on Friday, um, for whatever reason, you know, maybe it was my fault, bad practice plan, whatever. And I kind of we kind of challenged the players after practice and um, to reassess and say, okay, you know, what are our goals? And they came in quite simply Saturday with daily goals. You know, hey, we're going to get better defensively and rebounding today. We're going to try to not whine about bad calls in practice, which there are some, and we're going to try to be more coachable. Mm -hmm. So I think if they have that kind of maturity to focus on today, um, you have an opportunity for those bigger goals later on. And I think they showed a lot of maturity this past weekend of practice and coming and you know, had a really good practice Saturday and, and another good one on Sunday. Well, uh, you, go, uh, you go to Chapel Hill on Friday to play uh, preseason number one, University of North Carolina in an exhibition match. Uh, how, did they, how, did you, how were you able to line this game up, and, and what are you looking for from your team in this exhibition, despite, uh, in, uh, in addition to beating the Tar Heels, of course? <laughs> well, Coach Williams is generous enough to give us another opportunity. Mm -hmm. We went up there a couple years ago, and it's just a great experience for the guys, uh, an opportunity to play against what was, at that time, the number one team in the country, and coincidentally, again this year number mm -hmm. one team in the country but I think you know we're going to approach it just like any other game you know with scouting report game preparation game plan to go up there and try to and try to win uh, I think it's an opportunity whether it's this game or athletes in action next Thursday to try to prepare and get in that you know game mentality of preparation focus um, and you know obviously it's just a great opportunity right. for us to go see uh, see what we can do. Excellent, Coach. Well, we're looking forward to an exciting season this year with the Braves. That's all the time that we have for this week's edition of the Black and Gold Report. Until next week, go Braves.